Hi and welcome to the Tech F1 show. In this episode I'm going to look at exhaust and the coander effect. When the FIA changed the rulings in 2012 to limit the exhaust blown diffusers and off throttle blown that we'd seen in the previous years, they believed that by prescribing a periscope style exhaust they would be able to limit the amount of exhaust blown dis diffuser effect. What the FIA didn't bank on is the fact that the teams would work a way around this by use of what's called the coander effect. The coander effect is the use of a jet of air to attract airflow to nearby surfaces. Key to the coander effect on F1 cars is really the trough that the exhaust sits in front of. The exhaust trough or channel as we call it is shaped downwards towards the, fl the rear of the car to the floor. This then uses the coander effect to bend the airflow or the exhaust plume as it exits the, the exhaust trough and bends over the floor. This is why we see multiple iterations of, of this particular type of exhaust and we have McLaren who pioneered what we call the semi-coander exhaust and the reason we call it the semi-coander is that the ramp itself and the exhaust trough do not reach the floor of the car, they stop midships above the floor and have a section of bodywork that comes out from underneath it. The, thereby the airflow that's passing around the side of the side pod has an exit strategy, i.e. underneath the exhaust trough, so that the two flows don't, don't combine. This leads to two flow structures. Firstly, the energised exhaust plume, which will head towards the gap between the tyre and the edge of the floor, trying to seal the diffuser, much like we saw with EBDs, exhaust blown diffusers. And then we have the side pod airflow side pod side airflow that comes around the side of the side pod underneath the exhaust trough and goes around into the coke bottle. The Red Bull team tried a much more complicated version of this during 2012 with their exhaust cross, cross under ramp tunnel system. Uh, their version basically is very similar to the way in which the McLaren system works only it forms a full ramp coander whereby the, the actual trough etc fits lower to the, the floor, floor area allowing a much more targeted area of, of flow for the, the exhaust plume and that's because it doesn't have the interaction of the side, side pod flow i.e. the area of airflow that comes around the side pod which then enters the tunnels rather than impinging on the airflow pattern that the exhaust plume is making. You must also pay attention to the design of the side pod itself, not only the top slope section from the inlet down to the back of the exhaust channel, but also the section that bends around the side of the side pod. On the top of the side pod, we have airflow that moves down over the top of the exhaust, uh, over the top of the side pod towards the exhaust, and we call this the downwash. With the exhaust needing to be angled at plus 10 to plus 30 degrees upward, the downwash aids in manipulating the airflow down towards the exhaust trough. The combination of the downwash and the coander effect results in a net gain in downforce at the rear of the car. When Mercedes made the switch to the coander style exhaust in 2012, they struggled with overheating their rear tyres, and this was mainly to do with the fact that they couldn't control the effects of downwash and coander effect together, and obviously with the 2013 car having been changed in design profile, the side pods have, been also, have also been altered to cater for a better downwash, in, in effect creating a better coander effect. All of the team's new 2013 designs will be catered for this effect and taking into account all the data that was accrued by the teams in 2012, they will have made alterations to the design of their side pod to increase the downwash towards the exhaust trough and also altered the characteristics of the trough itself to enhance the coander effect. This all helps to target the airflow towards the gap between the edge of the floor and the rear tyre which helps in the ceiling effect increasing the downforce at the rear of the car.